go for it. <sighs> like, I believe in you. You can definitely make it. Um, but then sometimes, who gave up on you the, like, the fastest is not somebody else. The person that's going to give up the quickest is yourself. The person inside you. You know, the voice inside you. So, you got to you gotta fight back. You got to be like, I know that's tough, but I'm going to make it. I will make it. So, don't tell me to stop. Shut up. You know, if you have that mentality, then you will definitely make it. Having a goal like, oh, I'm going to be someone else. Oh, I'm going to have a Greek god physique instead of that. Why not like cut it down into smaller parts and focus on one thing at a time or maybe multiple things at a time, but then focus on the smaller stuff first. And then once you like hit it, once you complete that task, move on to another one, hit that, complete it, move on to the next one, then you'll get motivation if you like just finish one task and that gives you the drive to do other tasks and you know it helps you like long term. But they're not they're not too tight. So. I mean, instead of doing the, the one I did past, I'm gonna switch something else as well. By that, I mean, instead of training to when I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna train until my body actually cannot handle it. So, because I feel like this entire year, 2023, I have not challenged myself enough. I have not challenged myself enough. Like you see here, I'm gonna give up. But then, you know, I can still do more reps. Like that. I can still do it. So what's the point of stopping before? It doesn't even help you anything. The 8 to 12 rep, people say like, oh, you should do 8 to 12. What they actually mean is, you're probably gonna fail on the 11 or 12 rep, but then you can do A or A, 9 or 10, you know? So if you have like energy to do 20, let's say, and you stop at 10, then your body is not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna die next one and I have to recover. So, now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm gonna aim for training until failure. Maybe not, you know, not the too risky one, but I'm gonna try to. Just do as many as I can. And today, today, I can't. You know, February, today is my first day of leg day. So this is my second leg day this year and I need to stop giving myself excuse because a muscle you can train it whenever whenever you recover you don't need to train like specifically on Thursday let's say you skip on Thursday and you don't have to wait you don't have to wait until next Thursday to do it. You can do it on like Sunday or Saturday, you know. You can do it whenever you are free. Just make sure you recover enough. So don't give yourself excuse like, oh, I skipped today. I'm not going to do it this week. I'm going to do it next week. Screw you, you know. Do it the next day instead of next week. But do it right now. My butt hurts. Okay. My butt. My butt. 
so now I made it like so much easier um so I have a big backpack and inside here are like five water bottles and I'm just assuming like approximately each water bottle has one pound so one bag has five pounds so I'm basically just using it as a like a weight plate and just wear it and it works convenient 10 pounds next time How many did I do? Huh. I should focus on my breathing technique. I forgot how to do it. Because, you know, I'm a runner. So, I'm a long distance runner. So, my pace is slower than average people. I hope. So, you know, I have a rhythm of going slow. Because for me, in my brain, slow is fast, fast is slow. Just keep it steady and I will win. That's my mentality on running. Two more then. My butt. Okay. Another day. Yeah. My leg is trembling. Oh my god, ah, take a breath and do it again, oh my god. So one thing that I found, when you go up, elbows tuck back and chest, like chest up, so you can focus more on your legs instead of, like, you know, trying to crouch here by cheating. Mm -hmm. 